Yep, the iPhone XR is still currently the best-selling smartphone of all the smartphones right now. And I know, you probably think I'm going to start screaming, I told you so, and rub it in your face telling you I was right. Don't worry. I'm humble. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do! Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, the show where me being right never gets old. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate me today. You're gonna hate me a whole lot. First story of the day, story numero uno, let's talk about the iPhone 10. Are. According to SERP, which just sounds like a noise to make, that's the Consumer Intelligence Research Partners, SERP, they're saying that the iPhone XR is still crushing it in the US and in the UK. That's it for the first quarter of 2019. For the second quarter in a row, the iPhone XR is the best selling individual smartphone. Period. You know, all along, before we even saw the phone, I said that the iPhone XR would outsell all new models of the iPhone. Obviously, iPhone XS and XS Max. But for the second quarter in a row, this phone is outselling all other iPhones and every other smartphone. In fact, the iPhone XR has accounted for about 38% of all of Apple's US handset sales. So all things going to plan just as I expected. I'm not saying the iPhone XR is the best phone. I'm not saying that at all, but it is the best option for most consumers on the market. But it's not all good news here for Apple. Because the iPhone XR is not as expensive as the other models, though it's still kind of pricey, that has started to drop Apple's average sales price down a little bit. So who knows, maybe that means that Apple needs to make more compelling options for their flagship models this year, give people more of a reason to spend a little bit more money. But bottom line, after all the controversy and all the specs, the specs aren't good enough to display 720p, are you kidding? That ain't enough. The iPhone XR is depressing. I mean, you might remember my response to Unbox Therapy's video where I, I made my case and said, no matter what you say, it's not going to matter to the consumer market. This phone is going to do crazy well. And believe it or not, I'm not just trying to be argumentative. I make this show for you to tell you how the market works. So just because we're a bunch of fucking nerds paying attention to all the numbers on paper, those numbers don't matter to regular ass people. And you, the subscribers of this YouTube channel, the people down in the comment sections, you are disproportionately outnumbered by those regular ass people. I get it, we get mixed up in the specs, we get mixed up in the numbers and innovation and the future and all that stuff. That's fine, but if you wanna know how the market really works, maybe listen to me next time. Okay, so, the future. Let's talk about said future, shall we? The Galaxy Note 10. It turns out, according to Verizon, at least they've confirmed it, that the Note 10 will support 5G. We've already heard rumors before that the Note 10 will ship with 5G support, but other than rumors, it just makes sense. This is the flagship model that Samsung really throws everything into just to try to impress us because they're Samsung and they can. Look at technology, technology is cool. So hell yeah, it makes sense that this thing will ship with 5G and Verizon has gone ahead and just spilled the beans. In a statement straight from Verizon's CEO, he said, the Note and the Galaxy coming this year will both have 5G. So Samsung, I don't know if that was supposed to be a secret, but it's not now. All right, so last up for the day is actually another Apple story. Uh, this one about AirPods. We just got we just got a new model for the AirPods, the AirPods 2. Well, technically, I, I wouldn't really call them AirPods 2. It's more like AirPods 1 and a half, Air AirPods 1.5? Well, now according to Ming-Chi Kuo, probably the most reputable and accurate Apple analyst that exists, he says that we're getting new AirPods as early as the fourth quarter of this year. So, like, new? new ones? In fact, he said Apple is likely to launch two models of the AirPods. One new model of the new AirPods will feature an all new form factor design and a higher price, of course. And then that other second model will look the same 
and have the same price as the current models that are out now. What is even happening? Now, say whatever you want about AirPods, but they are extremely popular. Like every time you look, they're out of stock. God damn it. I guess now I'm just curious to see why they're gonna release new ones again. Here, let me try to make sense of this for you. I think what happened here is that these models that we're talking about here, the, these two models, the upcoming models that we're talking about that are going to be new in the last quarter of this year, 2019, those were supposed to be the new AirPods. Those were the ones that were scheduled. That's going just as scheduled, just as planned. But the ones that we just got the ones that we're calling AirPods 2, but really aren't. Those were made and packaged back in 2018 because they were supposed to ship alongside Air Power. So what I'm guessing happened here is those ones, the ones that we just got were for 2018. And then these ones were always supposed to come out at the last part of what fucking year is it? 2019, those ones were always supposed to come out this year at the end of this year, but Apple fucked up, they tripped, they stumbled, they fell on their face, and they just said, ah, fuck it. Here you go. We gotta put the, we made them. They're in the boxes. Put them out, see if people buy them. I don't know anymore. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.